guys, welcome to a new trip vlog series. So as you can see, I am in my car and I am on my way to Orlando. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different trip vlog series than um, what you're used to on my channel because I am one, traveling solo. So these videos are going up after I've already come home. So I feel safe telling you guys that I'm gonna be traveling solo this trip. My husband and son are gonna stay back because I'm actually going down here for a travel agency conference. So it's a week-long conference and I finally get to meet my People Mover Travel Agency family. You guys, we talk every single day, but to meet these incredible human beings in person is just going to be so much fun. But yeah, I am stopped here for the first time. I still have a few more hours left on my drive. I wanted to say hello. And if you're stumbling upon this video, for the first time. I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Kayla. I am a wife, mom, and lover of all things Disney and travel. I want my channel to be a bright spot in your day as I share the magic of Disney, the joy of travel, a little bit about our life here and there, and helpful tips and tricks along the way. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, I hope you'll subscribe, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. That just really helps support my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. I will be sharing a little bit more about this trip trip as we go. I'm going to try to set my camera up so I can kind of talk to you guys while I'm driving because I'm in a car by myself and <laughs> at least I can talk to you guys. So I thought that would be fun so that I can share a little bit more about this trip, what we'll be doing. So stay tuned. Um, fingers crossed I can figure out how to get this set up and let's get back on the road. Okay, I think <laughs> I've got it set up to where I can drive both hands on the wheel and talk to you guys at the same time. So share a little bit about this trip as I'm driving down here. It's a little bit of a different travel trip for me because like I mentioned, my husband and son are staying back home while I go to this conference. So um, originally they had planned on coming with me, but with my husband's work schedule and all the things, it just didn't work out. So um, of course I was devastated and upset. <laughs> um, but as I have well, I guess I should explain why. So I've only, in my son's two years of life, I have only ever been away from him for two nights. And it didn't go well. Um, he was fine. I was not. <laughs> and so I'll actually be gone for five nights this time. So it's kind of a bittersweet trip. Um, I know it's going to be a personal growth trip for me. It's going to be a professional growth trip for me because I know I'm going to go and I'm going to learn so much. But it is going to be really hard on my mama heart to be away from him um, and my husband for five nights. Fingers crossed, I'm going to keep you posted on how all of that goes. So the conference uh, is actually being hosted at Universal. You guys know that I love Disney. Um, Disney has my heart. Um, and originally I was going to stay there. Then when it kind of switched over to me going by myself and just kind of calculating the drive time every morning over to the conference in Universal, it just made sense for me to stay at one of the Universal Resorts, which I'm actually kind of excited about now. I have a lot of friends, family, and clients that love Universal. I've been to Universal several times. I really enjoy it there. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I just love the wizarding world of Harry Potter, but I've never stayed on property. Usually we just do a day trip over to Universal uh, during one of our Disney trips, but I've had several friends, family, and clients stay at the Universal Hotels and just have really amazing experiences so I'm really excited to see what Universal has to offer and kind of do a comparison between Disney and Universal. Anyways sorry about that I know I lost you guys um, I think I've got it set where it won't move now. So before you you know think oh I'm not gonna be interested because it's just gonna be all about Universal I promise it's not you know I'm not gonna be in Orlando and not go to Disney so um, I've got an evening at Magic Kingdom planned. I've got an evening at Disney Springs planned for sure. And then I'm going to try to sneak over there a few more times as well, just depending on our conference and the schedule and everything like that. So don't you worry. This vlog trip is going to be a little bit of Universal, a little bit of Disney. Um, and I'm actually really excited about it because a lot of my friends, family, and clients like to do both. I'm excited to kind of do both and just see what that's like. Yeah, before you kind of, you know, say, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be interested in this vlog series. I think it's going to be really cool. I really do. I am going to be vlogging the conference. So um, obviously probably not during the sessions, but I'll touch base with you guys periodically throughout the day and just kind of talk to you about what I've learned. I think it's going to be really, really cool and really exciting. So I'm really just thrilled to bring you guys along. So 
I am all checked in. So I wanted to get checked in just before I vlogged any more to get all set up. But um, I did drive, so there is a parking fee here. They do have a parking garage. It is $18 and maybe some change a night to park your own vehicle here. But I really like that they have spots um, so that you can park your car, go check in, and then after you get your room key and everything, you can go grab your car and park in the parking garage. So that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm excited. I'm on the 15th floor. Holy cow, that's going to be high up. <laughs> so let's go check out the room. All right, guys, I have made it to my room. So I am in a Skyline View two queen room. Um, and I actually have a theme park view. So I'll show you that in just a bit. Um, and I am in room 1500. So I am in, on the 15th floor. But as you walk in, I wanted to show you it's a little dark i don't know if there's no light or if that one's just not working but there is this little alcove here where you can set your belongings um, which i really really like and then you walk in here and there's a full length mirror and then in here you have your closet it has a safe your extra pillow and blanket iron ironing board so pretty good size closet really um, and everything is very very modern which is the theme here at Aventura and then the way my room is set up you come in through here and you have your bathroom vanity area very sleek very modern very clean so I really like that there's cubbies that you can put some things um, more cubbies down here and then through here, you have your walk-in shower. So good walk-in shower here and obviously your restroom. So very, very nice so far. And then something that's a little bit unique is there's just this divider here between the bathroom vanity area and the bedroom. So um, very, very modern light here and a chair and then you have your two queen beds you have your tv coffee maker and ice bucket here and then you've got your drawers here and your mini fridge i'm sorry beverage cooler here let's walk over and see this theme park view so this is really neat guys i can see islands of adventure i can see universal from here i can see Sapphire falls obviously and cabana bay over this way so really really neat i'm excited to see what it looks like at night but very very cool room obviously if you're not a big fan of heights i don't know how much you would like being on the 15th floor but um i'll kind of back up so you can just kind of see and then I also wanted to mention that everything in this room is controlled from this pad here. So um, I've already adjusted the temperature. It was a little bit warm, so I wanted to cool it down in here. You're about the resort, your room controls, your TV, dining, um, any services all runs through this pad here, which is pretty cool. So um, lots of plugins and USBs back here. This is um, a light. So like I said, very, very modern, but overall just a very nice nice, bright, and airy space. So I'm excited to be here. Okay, guys. So I um, was going to unpack, but I was starving and I needed some caffeine. <laughs> and there's a Starbucks, like a full-blown Starbucks in the lobby. So I went down and I got a little refresher. I got a little snack and a big thing of water. So pro tip, I'm sure everybody already knows this, but if you ask for a large water at um, Starbucks, it's free. And I'm just sitting here in amazement that I can literally see the Hogwarts castle from my room, you guys, from my room. So I'm excited to see what this looks like at night because I think it's going to be really, really cool. I think what I'm going to do now is um, we are meeting in probably about an hour and a half to go to the, I think they're doing like a meet and greet kind of welcome thing. Ooh, what is going on with the hair? Um, <laughs> and I need to freshen up. I just want to feel a little bit more put together before I go and meet everybody for the first time, but I'm really excited. I really like the room so far. It's cooling down. They had it at 72 when I checked in and it was really, really warm in here. And I was like, oh gosh, does the AC not work in here? But it does. No worries. I came back from Starbucks and everything was cooling off. I inhaled my uh, spinach and feta egg white wrap. They're so good. Um, but they, I just, I was starving. So I think I'm just going to freshen up before I go 
meet everybody for the first time. Um, we're going to meet in the lobby here, um, some of us that are staying here, um, and walk over together. So, <sighs> all right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Alright, I am in the Aventura lobby. I'm just waiting on my other teammates to get here and then we're going to walk over to the hotel where the conference is being held, uh, Royal Pacific, but there's a bar here. I mentioned earlier that there is a Starbucks. And then in the very back you have Urban Pantry, which is like their quick service. Um, so I'll take you back here and we can kind of look around because I haven't explored very much, just kind of while I'm waiting for everybody. Great lounging areas. And so yeah, this is their, uh, what they call the Urban Pantry. So um, it looks like right now this area is set up for sushi. So that is really cool. They have wok bowls. Um, and then over here, it looks like they have like a quick service, little grab and go section in the coolers over here. And then this place is called Roast. I'm gonna see what it is in the morning because I bet it's got some different food in the morning, but it's got salads and wraps. Um, a burger, looks really good. Some more kind of grab and go snacks over here. And then, yeah, just lots and lots of seating. I mentioned before, but I mean, this whole resort is just wall to wall windows, which I really, really like. It just makes it light and bright and airy. Like I said, everything is very modern, very clean lines. Um, so, I'm really enjoying it so far, you guys. Um, this Aventure is considered a prime value resort. Okay, so then over here we have the Universal Gift Shop. And I don't see anybody that I'm traveling with, so I'm so nervous to meet them. Um, I don't know why. I know that's silly. I know them. Um, I talk, Like I said, I talk to them every day. But anyway, some really nice like gift shop, merchandise stuff in here. Very, very cool. Just gonna take a little peek around. Hey, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh man, got some neat stuff in here. All right, I am going to head back out into the lobby and meet some of our People Mover Travel family. So excited. All right, I just got back to my room. I didn't really vlog um, just because I wanted to just meet everyone, um, really soak in the experience of just being here and just getting to hang out with them. And we had a great time. Um, we all met up in the lobby here at Aventura and then walked over to um, Royal Pacific where our conference is going to be and had like a meet and greet over there. So that was really fun. Some of us went to dinner at Island's Restaurant there at Royal Pacific and we all had a really really good meal. It's been great. A great day one. Probably just gonna get ready for bed, call uh, my hubby and talk to him for a little bit. But yeah, I'll be bringing you guys along tomorrow as well. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel and yeah, stay tuned for day two tomorrow.